I am an American legend. Step over here, please. Get him undressed. I choose what people remember me for. I will write my own history. Just come on, can't you do this any faster? The truth be damned. My life will be greater than the truth. You can check everywhere. Just keep your arms up, you know? Chains tight. Come on. Till tomorrow, Mr. Houdini. Maybe your good wife and I will have dinner. in a world I don't want to escape from. Mr. Houdini here 20 years ago. They chained him, they wrapped him in wet sheets, and hung him from a rope upside down out there for two hours. Lord, them sheets was running red before he threw them down. Made me have bad dreams for weeks. Oh, you shouldn't believe everything you see where a magician's concerned. Bess. Bess. Theo. Hello, Bess. I'm so glad you're here. Uh. You know me, old reliable. Okay. Saw it how life cycles around. There's still some rain on your cheeks. Stand by. Three, two. From Hollywood, the Ray Blackburn Show is on the air. Ten years ago to this very eve, the greatest magician who ever lived swore on his deathbed to his beloved wife that if any man could escape from the great beyond, he, Harry Houdini, would be that man. Bess Houdini has a standing $10,000 reward for any person or persons who can prove that they can communicate with her husband. She has held vigil at nine other seances. Tonight, she has elected to make her 10th and final attempt from this very stage where he once performed, hoping that through the power of radio, Harry Houdini will hear or feel us, and that he will defy the laws of the universe and perform his ultimate escape. 
to make you better. <coughs> Sometimes his choices are mysterious. No. I'm afraid to. Your mother has no English. Theo is so young. You must be the strength in this house. Promise me on the Torah Did father get being faithful to God all his life? Yet best be my climbing man, Eric. Job or not? Hey, Eric. Here, Mom cooked this on a sidewalk. Thanks, Dio. You the spark to study? Study? Here's a life. A yacht, a home in the south of France, his own theater in Paris. Who? Robert Hood and the magician. Yeah, you think you made that kind of money cutting off people's heads? Everybody be doing it. Hey! Yeah? Well, in France, it works from like a god. If I figured I could earn one thin dime by boozling people, you think I'd be a cut in this hole? I don't know, maybe. You stay in school. 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 Yeah, like hey! What the hell? Hey! Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay, Eric. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You got another job to go to, Jew boy? No. Damn, kid. See what I have to do. <laughs>
there to evoke the forces of nature, to perform unnatural acts. Supernatural acts. You make it sound like we should be arrested. Shut up. You're not supposed to talk. You smell You're giving it away. When I count to three. One, two, three. I'm not going to be able to. I can't get back to that quick. I don't think we ought to be Twice, boys. And we'll play the two neighbors and the rabbi. Hmm? Yeah. Look at that. Uh -huh. huh? Huh? Look at this. Yeah. <coughs> better. Illusionist. Oh. What do you do? A vocalist. The Floral Sisters. Oh, I've heard of you. Yeah, yeah, I heard of you. This is our first audition. Oh, it must have been some other sisters. Yeah. This is our first time, too. Which one's your sister? Oh, she's late. Thank you. Next! Oh, no. Um. Oh, we'll go. Oh. No, what? I'm not ready. You are now. Eric. Oh, Eric. Thank you. You're welcome. Good afternoon. What's that? Nothing. The dark power of the universe. So show me it already. Hell! The Houdini brothers! Solid iron handcuffs. Solid iron handcuffs. Metamorphosis. We risk our lives to bring you a feat so awesome, so daring, so death defying that King Solomon fainted. Yeah, yeah. You're making my ass faint. When I count to three, one, two, three, behold, a mirror. All right, work up 30 minutes, cut all the blabber, and then see me. No, no, we're not done. Next. Ho! Oh, ha-ha! I said next. What? We got a rope trick. Fellas, I've seen enough. Who are you, honey? I follow that. The Floral Sisters. So where are the others? Or are you going to multiply in front of my very eyes? My sister and I sing, but she's not here right now. I'm blind. So, sing or leave? Thank you, Billy. 
Well, you're a nightingale. You know, not a lot of girls have your kind of talent. Uh, Beatrice, but my friends call me Bess. Bessie. I can see you on my posters. You would like to get to the top, wouldn't you? Of course, it takes somebody very special to get you there. Somebody with big time contacts. Um, uh. Oh, come on, Bessie. Be a smart little bee. Um. Wait, wait, please, no. Wait, no. <laughs> Just give her a break. Beat it, kid. Oh. No, she said no. You shouldn't have done that, mister. I should explain. I take pain really well. Really? Well, then get ready for some more. Now it's my turn. Now you never work. Are you hurt? Oh, no. Oh, this is from my father's store. I didn't ask. Oh, my mom takes some so in. She can fix that. Yeah, she'll fix that. Tonight, I am surrounded by Harry Houdini's family and friends and by Houdini's very own magic equipment. For this seance, each guest has been asked to bring a personal memento. Theo, Harry's brother, has brought us. Yes, Harry willed me these. Czar of Russia's solid gold handcuffs. Yes, sir. Kind. Bald die Kinds verfreuern werden. What'd she say? She says she likes to call you a bloomers. No. Yeah. The girl. The girl. Sorry. Dio, if you burn me. Hi. Oh, no, I feel like a complete fool. Yeah, that's picture perfect. I was, um... I was planning on taking you. I was hoping to take you home, if you let me, that is. I'm sorry. I lost the toss. I've imposed too much already. We could walk by Broadway. Oh, no, my father wouldn't like that. I wasn't planning on inviting him. <laughs> um, that would be impossible. <laughs> That's my business. She said the night air would be good for you. She said you ought to go straight home. Oh. <laughs> It's like playing the blind man's bluff. Die best ziehen, was er her sagen. Head to Head. <laughs> See, and if you said tails. <laughs> I suspected that. <laughs> well, they say you're dead a long time. I only blame myself if I waste my chances. Hey, Floyd, you going to show me your tricks tonight? <laughs> tricks? No. Miracles.
never happened. My hands are shaking. Play, please. You know how to dance. Never trust anything where a magician is concerned. <laughs> I'll remember that. Is this the real you I'm with tonight, or are there a dozen Jekyll and Hydes? A thousand. And you've entrenched them all. You lie so well. Only to entertain, never to deceive. Oh, miracles from lies. How moral. And were your hands really shaking, Mr. Magician? Why? Because I don't know what I'm feeling. But I don't want it to stop. Catholic and you're Jewish. Our families would never speak to us. That'd be great. This isn't funny. Help! Stop the thief! Stop, stop her! Ah! Ah! Are you crazy? What did she steal? My heart. Oh. My soul. Oh, you really My life. Mad man. Since yesterday. Oh, I'm shaking so much I don't even know what to think. I can make you fear vanish. Close your eyes. Did it vanish? It's not magic. It is to me. Uh, what's this? Well, Thea's supposed to be guarding you. You couldn't have known. I had something engraved. B E. Believe. Oh, God, you're serious. Miss Beatrice Rayner, marry me. We'll be the world's most enchanted lovers. We'll have our own act. We'll be the biggest things in show business. Oh, I'm afraid. Believe. My family. Believe. But I, I don't. Believe. And you, Mr. Collins? Let me just make this clear. I'm here for Bess. I'm here to make sure no hoodoo faker takes her ten grand. You want a memento? Mr. Collins, I promise. I will limit my reward here tonight to the joy of reuniting a loved one. <laughs> Twist your words any way you like. I was Harry's assistant since I was 17 years old. This was in my hands every night his last performance. really well. No one hardly applauded. It's a saloon crowd. What do you expect? You'll understand. You know how hard it was persuading him to come on this wing and I stunk? Oh, Harry, we did the best that we could. We're broke! Why are you shouting at me? I know we're broke. 
If you didn't keep sending our damn money to your mother, then I wouldn't have to be backstage selling toothpaste just to buy his clothing. Your brother's a foreman. He makes four times what we do. Why can't he help? I don't want her to think I'm a failure. I'm through with magic. From now on, I'm going to sell toothpaste. Be my guest. Yes. I'm going to be the biggest thing in toothpaste. I'm going to make mountains of it. Moons of it. We'll be toothpaste artists. Harry. A hat and rabbit egg. I come always this way for another lousy hat and rabbit act. You got some nerve, mister, sending me those flyers. It wasn't our best night. Mrs. Routine. Martin Beck, you were simply delightful up there. Mr. Beck, thank you so much for coming. If only your act was half as good as the lies that your husband spun in his wires to me. He doesn't lie. Look, they have seen everything. You gotta jerk them out of their seats. You would have to do that quick change thing with the bucks on fire or something. Not even your theaters will allow us to use fire on stage. I know, I know. Mr. Beck, please, give him a chance. I like the way she sticks up for you. Thank you for nothing and good night. You know what they say about fire? People, they, they don't burn it that they die because they can't breathe. Asphyxiated before the flames ever get to them. What if I put an act on stage or put the fear of God into an audience? Right. What? A death trap that happens in seconds that every member of the audience understands no theater in the world will stop Harry. us from performing. Would you book an act that if I don't succeed, everyone knows I'm a dead man? Such as? Book us and find out. <laughs> no. How's that? 220. It's not enough time if something goes wrong. Be gone. No pessimists allowed in there. I'm worried. I'm worried. You're a beast. You're ah! a beast. No. Stop it. I can do this. You know, I know how to make something disappear, too. How much courage do you have, Mr. Houdini? How much courage do you have? For the price of one seat tonight, I invite each and every one of you to test the mortal limits of your bodies. You, sir, how much courage do you have? Uh, I got some. Follow my system, Please, go upstairs. To venture with me into a little experiment in terror. Follow my assistant on stage. Please, would you join us? You too. Now, everyone here, you, sir. Yes, you. Raise your right hand. Yes, come on. Come on. You too, sir. Raise your right hand, please. Now, everyone, take one giant, life giving breath of air. Start the clock. Drop your hands only when you're utterly forced to breathe. You're about to dance with the Grim Reaper himself. Who can bear something as rustic and charming as a farmer's milk can? How could this impose a deadly danger? Unless it fell on your head. Aha! She put her hand down. Our first fatality. Mark it, Bess. 28 seconds. Another! Mark it! 33. The essence of danger is the frailty of the human body. 45 seconds. 46. See, the women are going first. Deeper sympathy, ladies. <sighs> Beware! Here's our killer. Water. It looks so innocent, yet it's so vital to our lives. <coughs> Aha, our first man. Sir, can you imagine drowning? I've sought up people who fallen through the ice, sunken boats. They all say your heart palpitates, your veins swell, your body sweats, even in cold water. <sighs> You're dead. You're dead, sir. Your brain flares. Your lungs, they push at your chest, demanding, hating you for not taking a breath of air, not knowing that you would suck liquid death in between your teeth. They all say it's true. Your life, it flashes before you. There! 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 Will my volunteers please step forward? Examine every part of this metal tomb. Sir, with the beard, our last hero. The ship's foundering, sir. There's still hope. Your face reddens. Your tongue swells. <laughs> my 
Mark it best. A minute, 17 seconds. Excellent. Excellent, sir. Now, James. Every tissue, every fiber is trained to the highest caliber a human animal can see. I pride myself on my tolerance for pain. Shack! I'm about to be bundled tighter than a child inside its mother's birth canal. My thought will be claustrophobia. Drowning. Entrapment. Ah! 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 Am I secure? You're all right. If the unforeseen happens and something goes terribly wrong, my beautiful assistant will order the milk can smashed and do everything possible to save my life. Let me share one secret with you. My assistant is Basudini, my wife. She doesn't like this act very much, but she stands beside me. I'm a lucky man. Gentlemen. Last face I want to see. I love you. Start the clock.
Mr. Beck. See my lawyers tomorrow. They give you a contract you don't get out of so easily. Mrs. Houdini, what keepsake do you have? I forgot to bring anything. I know these last years have been very difficult for you. Tonight, I'm going to put my whole heart into helping you find your husband. Thank you. I'd like to say something. Please feel free, Mrs. Houdini. Harry, this is your best. I pray what we do here tonight is right. We do it out of love. Please come to us, Harry. Could we all touch hands? <clears throat> May the walls between us crumble. Harry Houdini, Eric Weiss, we are here for you. to a sea monster. I've been riveted, chained, pinned like a butterfly, yet I've walked through walls. Take my advice. Laugh at that before he laughs at you. Are you double-jointed? Do you swallow keys? Hide them up anywhere, person. My message will be beyond your imagination. You must use double. Is it true you have pockets sewn into your flesh? Are you psychic? I'm just lucky. Mrs. Houdini, I was at living with the most daring man alive. Exhilarating.
Take this vessel. I am your portal. Her body floats and drifts as if she were sinking into some invisible sea. I feel someone. I feel suffering. Is it him? Don't be alarmed. He's got a sense of humor tonight. Uh, we're off the air temporarily. Miss Vandergarten? <laughs> Your nose is bleeding. Ray, I think lightning struck the aerial that just moves off the air. Harry, it's ten minutes away. Your mother and Theo are here. Oh, Lord. What are you doing? Harry. Harry! something goes wrong, I can't get to you in there. Me and Beck were talking. Oh, great. Why doesn't he hang upside down? Because he died right before his shoes got strapped. Beck was right about one thing. The more I scared him, Mary hell out of him, the more my honest is pain to see me. Harry, it's not just about magic anymore. These people are ghouls. They're coming to see if you die. They want to believe in a baby. Well, you're Eric Weiss. Have you been drinking? It's New Year's Eve. Let's talk and you're more... Sober? Yeah. It's not easy talking to you sometimes, you know? I'm sorry. I'm not as brave as you. What else do you want me to hear? Do you think that I want to spend my life with this thing in my house, knowing that people have died in it? Do you think that I want to have photographs of you with your arms around gravestones throughout my house? They were great men. Oh, they're dead men. Harmon, Zarman, Fu Chang. You collect all their magic tricks and then you just hide them away. I'm not arguing this. It's my art. I honor them. Did you honor Robert Houdin when you declared him a fraud with your book? I don't want people confused. I'm confused, Harry. Explain it to me. Why all the collections, the boasting, the risks? My father, he preached about God's gifts. And when they buried him, People laughed at his pauper coffin. God gave him nothing. He gave him you. He gave him you, Harry. I've never sung a baby to sleep. That would be magic to me. Oh, when we go to Europe, maybe we can find some more doctors. If I can't have our child, I'm not going to lose you. If you take that water tank on our tour to Europe, I will not be there. Hey! <laughs> Nine mere giving bolts. Just cheer up for the family. What am I? Sometimes I think you build your whole world to impress her. Ich stehe, I. Erwarte nicht. Ich habe Moira gehabt, als sie was verfehlen die neue Jahr. We wouldn't do that. Mama. Harry, Bess. It's midnight. Ah, uh, well, everyone's overwhelmed by the new year, I see. So, uh, well, Mama's been practicing her English. Um, Mama? Hey. Your father would be proud from you. I know. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, I'll tell you, story of my life. I saw it first, but you're the lucky one. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I just need reminding. Eric, die must reden mit dein Brüder. Theo brach dann Hilf. Come home. To hunger with me, and I'll take care of you. Well, what are you plotting for me? You know she hates traveling. She's gonna see me perform for the royalty of her mother country. Mama, I can talk to Eric for myself. Oh. Eric. I need a job. 
They brought in a machine that does the work of 10 men, never even heard the word union. This is really difficult. Can I be on that tour with you? Can we be the Houdini brothers again? Yeah, we can work something out. <clears throat> that's, that's great, Harry. That's great. I got some duplicate equipment. I got a metamorphosis. I got a ladies' vanish. I got a swarming rope climb. Nothing too dangerous. I guess the bookings at the Orpheum, you know, you get a lady in your act. We can't even find your name. Uh, I don't understand. It'd just be too confusing to Houdini's. Gee. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I started you in the damn thing, Harry. But and now, and now you're going to throw me your scraps? I'll do it on my own. No, I went through hell to know what I know. I earned what I am. I love you, Theo. I could put you on that stage tomorrow. You can make more money than you ever dreamed. You know that's the truth. But there's only going to be one Houdini. Many. All right. Another few minutes. In another few minutes, there is no more audience. They're risking their lives, right? That is what they are paid to do. Try not to worry yourself, Mr. Blackburn. You know, Harry would be on the phone to the papers already. And what would he be saying? Halloween Spirits Trick Radio Show. That is what they've done. He was always able to make the worst situation seem like it was a plan. If the unforeseen happens, <laughs> and something goes terribly wrong. And his plan was always to make the audience believe that they were in the worst situation. My beautiful assistant will order the milk can smashed. And do everything possible to save my life. No one ever asked us why a man as skilled as Harry, seven nights a week, twice a day on weekends, Harry. always managed to slip on the same wet floor and injure himself. Although the audience never knew it. Oh, let me share a secret with you. Harry choreographed my every move. I had to carry all their fears and hopes. Is my wife, Bess Houdini. Bess Houdini he doesn't like this act very much. But she stands beside me. I'm a lucky man. The last face I want to see. I love you. Ich liebe dich. Start the clock. Or the escape itself. Why so many locks? I mean, if you're to drown, one lock would seem quite terminal. Ah, but to the uninformed, the more locks, the more dread. I'm not saying his escape attempts were not dangerous. Few, even if they discovered his secrets, would have the courage or a physical ability to attempt them. A moment of panic, a bent rivet, a smudge of rust, and my husband would die. No one would know, not even me. No trap doors, no doubles, just sheer gut strength and willpower. Why didn't he show himself more quickly? He knew the audience would think it was too easy. Every minute built the climax. The seconds drag into minutes. Every night I'd see them, watching that clock, biting their nails. Is he sick? Has he fainted? Now, every soul in that audience is united in terror from Harry's imagination. Harry. It's funny what people are willing to pay money for. In their hearts, every one of them knows they'd be dead.
No one thought to check the screens. <laughs> Did they really believe I, a woman, could save him with that axe? The instant that the tension cannot be raised an iota more and we must smash the can. Houdini returns from the dead in one immortal ovation. Oh, guys, I'm so white. I think it's a penis royal pants. <laughs> You're still my child. Mm, Harry, there's a nightclub with a tango orchestra and singers. Oh, I promised the reporters. Charm? What am I, some St. Christopher medal that hangs around your neck? <sighs> no, 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 I'm oh, sorry. Oh, no, don't laugh at no, me. No, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at myself. I'm, I'm conquering Europe, but I still can't relax. Brent. Brent. Yeah? <sighs> Uh, are you sick? Oh, I have a terrible heart problem. Oh, should we call a doctor? Oh, no, there is only one person in this world who can cure me. Uh, and who is that? I want to be with her tonight. <laughs> I understand. And is the man behind those eyes going dancing because he has to or because he wants to? Because he needs to. Telegram. God help me, Harry oh, Houdini. I don't know why I can't escape you. It's because I've hidden the keys, and I'm still in love with you. Harry. Bess. A telegram from America. Mother gravely ill. Stop. Wishes you by her side. Stop. Whose mother? Don't delay. Stop. Whose mother? It's from Theo. <sighs> Harry! Get a doctor! Oh, he's joking again, isn't he? No, no, he's not joking. A doctor! wasn't right to make her wait for you. She's a rabbi's wife, Harry. She'd have let me bury her the next day. She had a pair like these when she was a little girl. She used to dance around in them like she was a Tsarina. Slippers. <laughs> My God, Harry, you never cease to amaze me. Did you ever think what Mama might have really wanted? She'd have come to Hungary. She'd have come down the gangplank like Victoria the Queen. Carol would share the, the mother of Houdini. She swore me not to tell you how sick she was, Harry. She knew she'd never make it there. Laura. She's really gone, Harry. She's gone. And not even you, the great mystifier, can bring her back. Are you saying I shouldn't have gone? No, I'm sure Mama's sorry that she couldn't hold off her dying so that the great Harry Houdini could expose his vanity to her in front of the nameless citizens of Hungary. Shut up! I could take any punch you have to give, brother. I'm sorry. That's in the family. No, and I'm sorry for you. I want a mama to be proud of her sons. Sons? Did you ever start to think that she was already proud of you? That she counted on you? I was the one she thought was weak, the lost cause. Mama died asking for you. What did she want? I don't know. She was weak. It was at the end. Now, if you'll excuse me, the less than great Hardeen has a matinee that he's lucky enough to be performing for a workers union. of God, we are now one. Can you hear us? They are with us. We seek Cecilia Weiss. Is she there? Give us a sign. Oh, God. Something touched me. Yes, she 
is here with love for you. Mother? Mother's looking a little threadbare. How dare you? Dare me? But the bell, we were holding her hands. Tea time in the promised land. The ghost. I felt it. Yes, I know, I know. Oh, hell. I almost pooped myself. Who the hell are you? I'm Harry Houdini. I think you'll come to realize that charging $1,000 for a few magic tricks, that constitutes fraud. I'll personally see you out of business. If you had a mother, she'd be more bitch than woman to have whelped you. My mother! From this moment, no medium is safe in America. From me! There are those who would have you believe that they can foresee the future. Heal wounds. Talk to the dead. Talk to the dead. I've met hundreds of them. Table tappers, trumpet blowers, ectoplasmic saints. They'd rather we exercise our fantasies than our brains. I've invested years reaching across those psychic gulfs. You think I wouldn't if I could? I ache to believe. I wanted to talk to one single soul. How hard could that be? July the 16th, 1913. She died with one thought on her lips, for me. There are 20,000 medians practicing today, and none have spoken those words. And I warrant for my $10,000 reward, two thirds of them have tried. If spirits are genuine, you think they'd warn us? There'd have been no passengers on the Titanic. There'd have been no deaths in the San Francisco quake. If ghosts. If ghosts can inhabit any self-proclaimed Madame Zaza, why not the lower forms of life? Well, why doesn't your, your poodle whisper warnings about the next train wreck? Or your, your Persian for warning murder? Why? Animals don't have bank accounts. A student in love with the lost spirit killed herself to join her dead lover. A father killed his children because he got a message that his dead wife wanted them with her. You know what the lowest form of life is? The medium. It intrigued me to hear that you, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, the author of Sherlock Holmes, a doctor himself, had found scientific proof of the after. I must say that those I've encountered before have proven to be either self-deluded or worse. I do not believe that extraordinary knowledge is easily obtained. Uh, would you object, Mrs. Hoodie? Not at all, sir, I think. Do you know that Edison was building a machine to contact the dead? He, like I believe, that death is merely a transformation of energy. Energy never dies, it just changes states. We'd have to defy the laws of physics to confound that state. I have seen machines that can measure our thoughts. Our brains spark with a electric signals, then we die. Where does the energy go? It must change. Does our soul go with it? Well, I fear I can hardly find my way through the London fog, let alone the fog of non-living entities bantering all around us. Do you make play with my sincerity? No. I enjoy your imagination. Hello. Well, let's hope we can provide you with a little bit more than just imagination. Uh, I introduce my wife. Lady Doyle, it's a pleasure. Likewise, Mrs. Houdini. Mr. Houdini. Oh, please call me Harry. There is a definite energy about you. Pain drives your mission. What could frighten the great Houdini? A perceptive woman, for one. Knowledgeable. Most come to this journey in search of completion of a loved one. I undertook this journey to contact my mother. It's been a bumpy road for those that would guide me. I am aware of your exposés. I truly believe that I can help you. That 
indeed would be a miracle. Such deep, dark eyes. How do you know when he's telling the truth? I make his life miserable if he isn't. He needs a match like you. I would like to help you. Please, give me your hand. Now you're going to see something. She's going into the ether. She's breaking through. It's so dark. Is that my Harry? My little one? Yes. Who are you? We are all children here. But in your way, I am your mother. You don't see time and space like us. Is there a question you'd like to ask me? When I was a little boy, how did you comfort me when I cried? How did you calm my tears, Mama? Have you forgotten? I healed you with my love. I kissed you, Harry. Oh, I, I lost her. I'm sorry. This is just too difficult, Lady Doyle. This must be very taxing. I'm terribly sorry. You can't just Thank up you. and leave, not after the way you've treated the pioneers of the science of spiritualism. Sir Arthur. I thank you for a most unique experience. What do you not think of my wife's abilities? I wish not to embarrass her. You mean you don't have the humility to admit what you've seen? You are one of my last hopes. A man who knows that symptoms define an illness. I'm incredulous at what you call science. If that was my mother, a Hungarian who could barely utter a few syllables of English, let alone write a word of it, then death must imbue one the language facilities of a genius linguist. They have transcended languages. But they do need names. My mother named me Eric. Never in her life did she call me Harry. As for my final test, the truth of that will remain in here. Well, the evidence, sir, I doubt you have a heart. Please convey to your wife that I do not count her as a deliberate fraud. I will convey to my wife that we've spent time with a man who is a lonely, bitter shell of denial. We will pray for you, sir. A shallow denial than a pompous fool who publicly states he believes in fairies. Good day, sir. I am not a stone. I have feelings too. What? You embarrass me in there, Harry. I mean, those people feel like they had something to share with you, and you treated them like poison. Eyes are poison. Only when I hear the truth, no matter how painful, will I believe. And what is this hollow test? <sighs> Damn you, Harry. My mother, she never held my hand. She never touched my cheek. She thought affection would weaken her little man. She never once kissed me. I wish she had. Are you saying the right? Oh, I don't care. All these years of searching, the mediums and the psychics, please, just tell me when it's going to end. Never drop anywhere. Harry. All these lawsuits, my God. Let them sue me or haunt me. I'll stand on the truth. Libel. 110,000 here. Libel, 50,000 there. And all these ones are only 10,000. Obviously, you didn't annoy him enough. You're undermining me. Harry, I am fighting for you. You're running around the country like some mad bull, goring mediums who have done nothing to you. They use my art to betray humanity. Harry. Forgive me, but I think even the dead people are starting to say 
Give us a break. You're going broke, Herr. Then China. Here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Harry, listen to me. Hollywood has half eaten Baldwin. Now, I have been speaking to some of the old guys, and they want you back. But no lectures on spiritualism. No nagging away at their hopes. Just old Harry, the challenge king. They're waiting for you. I'm tired of hanging upside down. Beats working for a living. Have you ever pumped gas or cleaned a sewer like those people in your audience? Martin! <laughs> We're being served another suit. Or did another illustrious reporter lay themselves at the feet of the world crusader and protector of the beyond? Uh, Harry and I were just discussing you two going back on tour. We just got home. Martin, would you excuse us? Oh, yeah, 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 Harry. Harry, you've got to give him something new. You know, jerk him out of their seats. Our call. Yeah. He didn't have to go. I didn't want him to see you like this. Oh, honey, I'm just relaxing. Damn, bootleggers. That'll steady his nerves. Yes. Harry, I can't do it anymore. My body's fighting me, Harry. I know you think I'm a woman and I'm weak. But I have stood by you through everything. And I had dreams, too. Now I want you to stay home. I need the money. You can't stop! I'll applaud you. I'll applaud you till my hands bleed. But you want their hands. I loved Eric Weiss. I put up with Harry Houdini. Now I don't even know who the hell you are. A man who worships another woman. Well, she doesn't drink. She's a saint. But she's dead. And I can't compete with that. Leave her out of this. Show some spine. Believe? I believe your mother was all spine. I developed a body that is trained to the infinite. An instrument to achieve the impossible. Shackle me. I've dedicated my life to search for real magic. Miracles that move one's very soul. The roller coaster, the speeding car. Our greatest exhilaration comes when we are closest to our own oblivion. That's what real magic must be. Join me in my quest. If you dare. Trader, is it the best you can do, Montreal? <laughs> How can we have a hunger for something if it doesn't exist? They look to God and to me. There's got to be more to our existence. I feel it. Like sand drifting across my fingers, and I can't catch it. This is right. I can't stop myself. Maybe you could write her a letter. Why don't you send for Bess, Harry? Hurry up, you smoke, Hurry up. That was, uh, some show, old man. You shouldn't be smoking. Oh, you figures he's pretty tough, eh? Hey, don't you? I can match any man's strength. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! He's been running a fever of over 100 since he was punched in Montreal. I can't even get him near a doctor. He had himself buried alive at the Toronto papers. Nearly pulled it off, too. Six feet under the coffin, caved in on him. Somehow he clawed his way up. His ankles are swollen. He's not in good shape, Bess. Why would anyone want to bury themselves alive? Ask his mother. For Detroit, he dropped the milk can. 
He ordered us to bring in the Chinese torture tank. Just looking at that thing bites into my gut. And you think he'd listen to me? He wears your ring on a chain around his neck. He won't perform yep. without it. I gotta go. Good people of our Motor City, you're about to see me face my ultimate challenge. First, they're handcuffs. I will be deprived of air, imprisoned in iron and water. A death sentence. Harry. Best. Ladies and gentlemen, my queen of mystery, my wife, Basudini. I came to bring you home, Harry. Please. Don't do this tonight, please. Let me share a secret with you. My wife, she doesn't like this act very much. But she stands beside me. I'm a lucky man. This will be the last time. I'm begging you, please. The last. Bass. Oh, my ring. Where is Something's wrong. had appendicitis for some time by the look of you. Last night it ruptured. It's important you rest. They hate patching up. They did a great job. <laughs> Can't play poker to save your life. You left it pretty late, Harry. In a hospital. What are people gonna think? Harry, please rest. Jim. Paper. Get some paper. I got something right here. I'll write this down. I swear to my wife. That if any man can escape death. I hear you, Dini will be that man. Oh, close. Thanks, Jim. We need a sign so that you know. The only lips I've ever kissed.
Save your strength. Damn you. Too tired to fight this. No. No. You can do it. Harry? Well, ladies and gentlemen, please forgive our little interruption. It does seem that the devils are indeed frolicking on this Hallow's Eve. Before we start, I didn't realize I, I do have a memento from Harry. I swore I'd never take this off again, but I'm willing to do whatever's necessary. Esther, if you will, let us now attempt to reestablish contact with the spirit of Harry Houdini. Mrs. Houdini, please hold my hand. Yes? Harry Houdini, come to us. Bass? Oh, come on, woman! The whole world's waiting! You laugh at me while you can, I'll tell you now! It's a jumble. So frustrated. I can't make any sense of him. You tell them Houdini's here. The conqueror of death. The man God could not cage. It hurts. Trust him. He's so desperate. He doesn't know how to use me. Help him, Esther. He wants to tell the world he still exists. He knows you're here, Bess. Oh, God. Yes. Is there a message? Any message at all? A deep emptiness. Wait. He searched for one woman. Who? Mother. What about her mother? She died. He couldn't find her. There's nothing but a child in him. He cries inside, but no one holds him. Her last words. They were never spoken. She never once kissed him. It's gibberish. It is Harry. He turned to the spirit world, and when they couldn't give her back, he turned against them. Is that what you believe, Mrs. Houdini? Somehow. I know Harry's here. I know it. Ladies and gentlemen of the listening audience, tonight on this Hallow's Eve, Ray Blackburn has brought you a miracle. I don't think so. He kept his promise. I'm sorry, Bess. I had to be sure something wonderful wasn't going to happen before. What are you saying? Do you, uh... Do you know what this is? No. A lockpick. Oh, yes. Thieves use them. And magicians. I learned a lot from my brother. About picking locks and debunking mediums. When I visited your offices for the bereaved, I found file upon file, newspaper clippings, obituaries about the people that you give readings to. And I also found this. Our so-called psychic here has had private detectives following you best. They probably spent months on you. 
won. I didn't see that coming. He's a liar. A theater bar on 42nd Avenue. Drank heavily. September 18th, same bar, expressed interest in her husband. That's dumb. She seemed desperate for company. I have nothing to gain. I already swore I would take no money. Oh, but you would have. You would have from the people that you would have exploited, thanks to your defamation of Harry? Oh, but you're not the only guilty party here. See, I met with the detective who wrote this, and he's prepared to swear that he's paid by Mr. Blackburn here, as I presume were you. Yes, yes, it's true. But it, it wasn't like that tonight. Mrs. Houdini. Mrs. Houdini. I'm sorry. Dear listeners, we promised you an unusual show. Uh, I see that our time is up, so I say to you all, good night. Wait! Wait! I want to be heard. If it's pain you've wanted, Ray Blackburn, you've exploited mine. If it's morbid fascination for your audience, I certainly hope this was morbid enough. I will not give you the satisfaction of my anger, only my pity. You haven't damaged Harry Houdini. You've only proven his greatness. For where you are cruel, he gave wonder. And where you used my hopes to trick me, he used his deceptions for enchantment. And now I have to accept that I can't complete myself with his presence. Mrs. Houdini, we meant no harm. We have all been through a great deal tonight. Thank you. Good night. Bess. Something else. <gasps> Something that I should have told Harry a long time ago. I don't think I can hear anything else tonight, Theo. I have to, please. When our mother died, uh, she was in terrible pain. And she barely whispered. I only tried to make him strong. Please ask Eric to forgive me. Why didn't you tell him that? All my life, he came first in everything. But you knew that's what he wanted to hear. I loved him, Bess. More than he ever let me. But at the same time, I hated him. She was my mother, too, and when she died, she didn't have a single word for me. I'm sorry. I came here tonight to, in some way, make up for the terrible thing that I did. Come on, old girl. Drive you home. Oh, Joe. How can I be so blind? She was always there. What I wouldn't give to touch her. Bessie. Believe. I do not. 
Yours are the only lips I've ever kissed. I'm going mad. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared, too. <gasps> Is this because I'm so weak? Or so strong? <laughs> it doesn't matter if I'm a dream. A joke. Or a character in your mind. Believe. Oh, I don't know what I'm feeling. But I don't want it to stop. I didn't escape. You found me. My whole life I've searched for true magic. And you're right here in front of me. I love her more. 